Click damn you. Soon. How's she going, my son? And welcome back to Warframe, the Silver Grove. Now, I've had a day outside of the game. Very fun D&D session, actually. Um, and I think the frost leaf was either bugged or I was just really unlucky. But I finally got enough in, like, one mission when I was grouped with other people. Like, I heard that a problem with it was that Frostleaf couldn't be found if you were soloing. Why? I don't know. Some kind of technical snafu. But when you're in a group and you're not hosting, you... They were literally all over the place on the maps where they should have been. Where I was looking. So... You know, I did that finding of them off camera. I found the rest of the moss I needed. And we're finally going to get to finish the Sunrise Apothic and this quest. Unless there's another step, although I don't think there would be. But, you know, we'll get to see what happened with the whole transference thing. I have a feeling I know what happened. And you know what? I'll, I'll share it with you, just in case so I, we can confirm if I'm right or not. But what I'm thinking is the person in the reports that did the transference with Titania, even though they aren't Tenno... So that's really not what they should be doing with their brain. Um, like, is kind of like transferenced into Earth itself. But it's such a large thing that it's kind of like spread all over the place. So that's it's why it's all disconnected and foggy. But like the apothics like kind of trigger the memory. You know, the way scent does, right? I mean, I could be a little... I could be wrong, but I have a feeling... The normal person doing transference too much, getting lost, like, to the ether pretty much, is kind of what they're getting at. I might have the details wrong, though. Visit the shrine. Ah! Oh, forgot to put the fucking thing in my pocket again. <laughs> Please don't crash my game. Okay, we're good. Some people get crashes when they do that. I just get that weird five-second, looks like it's going to crash, but not really thing. Mm, pardon me. Uh, again, assault rifle boss fight. I really should have recorded when I was doing that, because I used Eneros, and I, um, I used Eneros, and the map was just covered in enemies when I was fighting the boss. But I was just like, okay, I put my swarm armor on, and then I throw it at people. And it spread it, and it, con it like, just contaminated and controlled just this huge swath of battlefield and made me basically immortal because I was constantly stealing life from like 40 plus enemies at once. <laughs> it was just a matter of actually doing the legwork of killing the boss at that point, which was a bit tedious, but you know, because he was level 100 and had armor, but you know, I had to burn like several ammo pizza things and, you know, empty the magazine, empty the like, I want to say like a thousand total bullets in a Soma Prime several times. To kill him, it was uh, it was quite gross, but it was funny and it was cool and I liked it. If I ever get something like that again, I'll definitely record it, just for kind of a bit of a show off factor. That's no good. Oh, well, I might not be Titania, but I'm gonna stop him. Oh, fuck you, lady. said.
Yeah, now they're throwing like napalms and shit at you down here. Because presumably their their actions on uh, cleansing the forest have ramped up. Not digging the fact that there's a dude this far in the tunnel. This could be bad. Nope. It's all good. Hopefully. Give me the final apothic. I need clarity to fight back. I imagine the apothics were what she was using to help transference, since again, not a tenno. That's what I do. Beware. Titania's old guardians will still attack. Uh oh. I have no will over them. Fayark Broberon. Can I like just pocket sand him? Doesn't stun him though. Ah! Got the carpet on me. Oh, if he's standing in it, he gets armor. Come on. Okay. Try not to stay too still, because if he headshots me, he might do a lot of damage. And we are good. We're good. Escape? Uh, I'm not fighting with you? No, we won't leave you. Tenno, ready yourself. I was gonna say! What the? Ah! Hey. Okay, so it's turned into a, mo into a mobile defense mission, pretty much. I wish I bought a better frame for this. Ah. That should be alright, though. Like, the only thing that can screw this up is if they kill the shrine specifically. Because they can't kill me. Not as, not as Anaros. And not when they're only level 27. Better believe it. Hey, where the hell did you come from? You just fucking teleported in, man. Oh, wait, are they falling in from the hole in the ceiling? That's probably where they're coming from. That would make sense. They're just zerging out of every hole, pretty much. You never want zerg in your holes. Not a good thing. Thought the same of Warframes when the Oracle 
found out what I had done here. They sent their daps upon the great trees, upon me, as the skies grew hot and my roots split into cinder. I let out a deep, earthen scream. I was dying. And then suddenly, I felt a familiar presence. One by one, the mighty ducks began to fall, squatting hopelessly at some unseen menace. Others were snared, drifting upward in the mesmerizing light. And then, all at once, shredded by that unseen force, and the fire subsided. Titania. Titania. By the strength of this tenno, she will fly again. I swear it. The forest and myself are in debt to both of you. Good ending. And I do love how, in the fluff of what Titania was doing to the people she was fighting way back in the day, she was literally using her abilities. Like, you know, like, everything that they said Titania was doing, you get to do in-game, more or less. Which I think is cool. So, yeah. I'm, I guess I was mostly correct that uh, Sylvana ended up... Transferring, transferencing herself into the planet. Or at least into the forest. I know she's probably not in the entirety of Earth, but, you know, she's in these forests. She's in the Silver Grove. She projected her consciousness through the transference technology into the trees and stayed there. Instead of going back, ever. Which is, um... That is one hell of a commitment to tree hugging. I'll tell you that much. Ooh. No. Don't need it. Man. Wasn't expecting the fight at the end there, but, you know, thankfully not too hard. You would need proper mods, but, like, you wouldn't need a reactor. You wouldn't need forma. You know, you wouldn't really need to min-max like crazy to do that fight. It was just... You do gotta bring at least your B game. You know? Titania Neuroptics. Good times. Good times. Trapped by transference inside a tree. Hmm. I guess she loved trees so much that she became one. Ha ha! Did the operator enjoy the criticism? Oh. The Silver Grove was planted with the rotted seeds of the Orkin, corrupt in the eyes of our doctrine. Our tenets command us to reject it, but how can we? Silvana longs to restore Earth's former glory just as we do. If we are to see Earth restored, perhaps New Loka itself must change. I will convince them to see Sylvana's creation for the miracle it is. Some will call it heresy, but it is true, and truth is the purest thing we have. Oh, hey, you get the blueprint for free. Cool. I mean, it's just credits, but better than nothing. Alright, so we have 
All of Titania's pieces, we just gotta build her helmet and then slap it all together. Might stay up later today and uh, actually do that. Titania. Yeah, and her helmet didn't require next to nothing in terms of rarity of resources, so that's good. And then it'll just be, unfortunately, the three days, 72 hours, once I get the Neuroptics done, another 12. So, you won't be seeing a video about her from me for a while, because I don't like buying more frames. Mostly because if I buy it and I don't like it, I'm either out a bunch of Platinum from a trade, or I'm out money from buying Platinum and buying something I'm not using. So, you know, it's not, it's not fiscally sound to me. That being said, I do kind of like every frame to some degree, but I have my favorites, you know. <clears throat> you know, the one in front of me right now, <laughs> among others. Actually, idle curiosity. Uh, idle curiosity. Uh, how do I do that? Yeah. Sort by percentage used. Wow, Oberon's that high on my list? Huh. Okay. Rhino, too. Kind of, actually, I'm kind of surprised with Rhino. I mean, I guess I used him a lot when I first got him, but I haven't used him a lot lately. Although I whip him out sometimes. Yeah, he's down here. Atlas is only down here because I just got him. Same with Saren. But, I mean, she's climbed up over frames I've had for a lot longer. Although I don't own, I don't physically own Vault anymore. Because I have Vault Prime, so I just sold him. Yeah, I used Loki a lot because, you know, he was the go-to stealth frame when I didn't have Loki Prime or any other stealth frame. So, you know what? I feel like this episode might be a little too short if I just do that end of the quest. So, let's investigate, at the very least what I need to get one of the other new weapons that came out in this update that I actually forgot, I completely forgot to mention in the past couple of episodes. The Sarpa. A new gun blade. Ah, huh, okay. It's only a... Oh, God. So much cryotic. Oh, well. Buy it up anyway. Now... I gotta make an axe stiletto. Do I have an axe stiletto? The game says no, but I'm not sure. Axe stiletto. I guess sort by name would be the easiest way to find an ack weapon. Because they'd be all at the top. Yeah. I have axe samadhi. Which is made from an axe stiletto. So that's why I thought I had one. Alright, so I guess I gotta make another axe stiletto. It's alright, though. Although it's a little weird. It's... It takes a double pistol weapon to make the gun blade, but it's only a single gun blade. Like, why isn't it dual gun blades? Yeah, that'd be dope. <laughs> that would be all kinds of dope. Melee weapon. Uh, not, not melee weapon. What am I doing? Secondary. There we go. Uh, where is it? Ack. Stiletto. Research Tenno Lab. Ah, oh, that means I gotta use another Forma to make them. Ah, well. Oh, well, I'd say a Gunblade is worth a Forma. Because they're pretty damn good. Mostly because they interact with a lot of weird and interesting mechanics. Like the fact that they get stealth multipliers as if they were melee weapons. And are silent. Even when they're shooting. <laughs> it's like, why not? Right? Anyway, since this is mostly me just playing for my own benefit now, I think I'll cut the episode here. I might actually record something else today, too, because, uh... Well, I might as well just tell you guys. Uh, Magic Maker, of all things, got an update today. Uh, not a huge one. It's not like an extra content patch or anything. But, um, it does alter one of the spell materials pretty heavily. So I, I might play around with that for half an hour and, uh, you know, make a video out of that. I oh, know, not this one. Actually, it would be the very first one I skipped. Come on. 
Okay. Axe stiletto. Here we go. Replicate. Well, at least the forma is like the most expensive thing in the build. You know, nothing worse than a weapon that needs a forma in its construction as well as like, you know, a bunch of argon crystals or some shit. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Twitter, Tumblr, and subscription are in the description as usual. Please engage in the subscription. I would like to grow this channel, and I do appreciate the couple of subscribers I've gotten recently to my recent influx of videos. Thank you very much. Um, and as well as everyone who's just stuck around with me anyway. You know, you're all appreciated. And I'd just like to mention, um, since when I was at 200 subs, I kept losing, like, one or two and going back down to under 200, so I never got a chance to really do, like, a holy crap, I have 200 subscribers subscriber video. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to take a second and say thank you for everyone who helped get to that point and who's continued to stick around and maybe get me to 400, maybe get me to 600. Who knows, right? It's just all that's going to happen. Uh, do engage in the Twitter, though, as well as the subscription, because the Twitter gives you a more accurate feed of when I do deliver content. And if you want to contact me a lot more free a lot more easily, my Twitter is a lot faster than the YouTube comment section. Uh, the Tumblr is optional. It's just my thoughts and any, any like, fan stuff I do. Like, I might start... I mentioned this before, and I never got around to it. But I would like to start posting const custom Warframe ideas that I have on there. Like either custom weapons or custom Warframes themselves. Maybe a, t a type of companion. You know, that sort of thing. Just anything that kind of comes to mind. I, I have a lot of ideas like that. I'm just like the worst person to actually execute said ideas. Which is the thing. It's not my forte. Thank you, Ordis. And you know how... Like, the world... People, A lot of people say, the world doesn't need an idea guy. Right? I don't know. Like, I, I think there's a place for it, but you, an, an idea guy needs to partner up, or idea guy or girl, or non-binary or whatever. An idea person needs to uh, needs to pair up with an idea, or with a execution person, and make the concept work. To make it a thing, is what I'm getting at. Like, I need to find someone that likes my ideas, and has the ability to help me make them more than ideas is kind of what I'm getting at. But anyway, that's just me kind of rambling. Uh, you know, thank you all so much for watching. That was the Silver Grove. We end up finding out what exactly happened to the disembodied voice in the Silver Grove. What happened to Titania. And we are on our way to make her for ourselves, which is great. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And ciao for now. Soon.